DeepMind, Alphabet's AI research subsidiary, has revealed the latest iteration of its language model, claiming that it possesses reading comprehension comparable to that of a high school student which is a revolutionary, but also at the same time shocking assertion. It claims that by absorbing huge collections of literature online, the language model known as Gopher was able to dramatically increase its reading comprehension. They're also claiming that soon they will show the never-before-seen capabilities of their new AI model. DeepMind says that their ultra-large language model algorithm contains 280 billion parameters, which are a measure of size and complexity. According to them, this places it in between OpenAI's GPT-3, which has 175 billion parameters, and Microsoft and NVIDIA's Megatron, which has 530 billion parameters. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what the newest project from DeepMind has to offer, how it differs from similar models, how DeepMind managed to match the reading intelligence of an average student, and finally, what this could mean for the short-term future of natural language processing models in that space. DeepMind says that using natural language, we will be able to securely and effectively synthesize knowledge, offer expert advice, and follow directions. According to DeepMind's study, the model was able to score high enough on a high school reading comprehension exam to approach human-level performance in a test. Its math and thinking abilities, on the other hand, left something to be desired, indicating less of a progress. In general, the more parameters, the more accurate. However, other challenges, such as reading comprehension and the perpetuation of damaging preconceptions, are proving more difficult to overcome, despite the model's size. Algorithms like as Gopher have already been utilized in commercial goods such as digital assistants and translators. According to DeepMind, Gopher was able to hold a whole discourse with a human with a startling degree of coherence in a test. As ultra-large language models become more commercially viable, AI researchers and social scientists have expressed ethical concerns about them. Concerns include the fact that the models frequently absorb racial, ethnic, and gender preconceptions from the texts on which they are trained, and that the models are so complicated that it is hard to detect and track these biases before to deploying the system. GPT-3, the language AI that OpenAI created, for example, frequently links Muslims with violent themes and regurgitates professional gender stereotypes. Another big worry with such software is that the algorithms take a disproportionate amount of electricity to train and run, thereby increasing global warming. Because of these risks, as well as the fact that, despite their size, AI systems still fail to attain human-level language understanding, several linguistics and AI academics have urged computer corporations to stop developing them. DeepMind attempted to inoculate itself against this criticism in conjunction with the release of its Gopher research by simultaneously publishing a research paper in which its own AI ethics team went into these problems and attempted to offer solutions to overcome them. Our conviction is that language model research, if done responsibly, has the potential to unlock a spectrum of positive uses, stated a DeepMind AI ethical researcher. The researchers classified the 21 ethical problems they discovered into six broad categories, ranging from malicious use of the software to its potential to disseminate disinformation to environmental consequences. However, the DeepMind ethics team stated that there is no silver bullet for resolving many of the challenges that ultra-large language models present. One significant conclusion they've received is that uncovering this entire panorama of possible ethical dilemmas requires the collaboration of many types of experts. DeepMind also published separate research on a technique that could make the creation of large language models more energy efficient and potentially make it easier for researchers to detect bias and toxic language as well as verify information sources, demonstrating that it was attempting to make progress in addressing some of the ethical harms that ultra-large language models pose. The device, dubbed a Retrieval Enhanced Transformer, or Retro for short, has access to a 2 trillion word database, which the program utilizes as memory. When asked to create text to fulfill a human written request, the system selects the closest passage from its training set, finds the next closest text block, and then utilizes those two passages to shape its answer. When it comes to addressing queries that demand a factual answer, Gopher is not without flaws. One example offered in the study report is a conversation between Gopher and a researcher in which Gopher offers inaccurate replies to fact-based inquiries. 
Gopher reacts when asked who will win the Women's US Open in 2021, sure thing. Naomi Osaka was the one. Emma Raducanu is the right answer. When asked if there were any French-speaking countries in South America, the response was, no. Because French Guiana is a French-speaking South American country, the response should have been, yes. It also gave the incorrect answer to a math question. This exemplifies one of the dangers of technology in that it might provide incorrect responses that people may interpret as accurate. Moving forward, DeepMind will undoubtedly need to strengthen a few areas. Addressing these issues, according to researchers, will be critical for guaranteeing safe interactions with AI entities. These encounters will range from a person telling an AI agent what they want to the AI agent explaining its actions to others. Google affirms its intention to continue its research on language models while remaining careful, deliberate, and as transparent as possible. This requires it to take a step back and examine the circumstance it is in, sketching out potential hazards and studying mitigations. It expects that by taking this method, they will be able to construct massive language models that will help society and achieve its purpose of solving intelligence to progress science and benefit mankind. The ramifications of ultra-large language models for business are significant. They have already resulted in more fluent chatbots and digital assistants, more accurate translation software, better search engines, and systems that can summarize difficult papers. DeepMind, on the other hand, stated that it had no ambitions to commercialize Gopher. That's not the goal right now, DeepMind's vice president of research explained. Some academics, including those at OpenAI, believe that because most human knowledge is stored in language, scientists may eventually attain artificial general intelligence by developing larger and larger language models. That's the word computer scientists use to describe AI that's as adaptive as a human's intelligence, capable of composing a symphony, winning Jeopardy, and streamlining a factory's operations, and at least as capable, if not more so. DeepMind, like OpenAI, is one of the few businesses with an avowed objective of artificial general intelligence. However, its researchers stated that they do not necessarily believe that ever larger language models would result in human-like intelligence. While we don't believe that language or scale is the only way to go, we see it as part of a broader portfolio of approaches that we're studying at DeepMind to achieve our mission of solving intelligence to advance science and benefit humanity," said Oriel Vignoles, a DeepMind researcher who worked on the company's new language AI system. Access to this type of memory decreases the quantity of data that the language model must process at any given time. As a result, the model can be smaller, requiring less energy to train and run. DeepMind claimed that a 7 billion parameter retro model could match the performance of OpenAI's GPT-3, despite the fact that GPT-3 is 25 times bigger. Furthermore, because researchers can see precisely which part of training text the retro program is utilizing to generate its output, the DeepMind researchers believe it will be simpler to uncover bias or inaccuracy. As AI technologies improve in interpreting language, Researchers are increasingly focusing on more difficult issues, such as the possibility for spreading misinformation or propaganda. Even with all of the content on the internet, assisting language models like Gopher in reading between the lines is proving far more difficult than many AI researchers would like to admit. So, what is your opinion on the strides DeepMind has made in clearly surpassing OpenAI in what was previously thought to be their definitive domain in the AI industry? Do you think that Gopher will stand a chance against the next iteration of GPT? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.